blue bubble, green bubble, encrypted or not. Messaging today is more than just texts and emojis. It's a battle between iMessage, RCS, and the age-old SMS MMS. Whether you're team iPhone or Android, you need to understand how your messages are sent and what's actually happening behind the scenes. With over 6.9 billion smartphone users worldwide, messaging is now the most common way we communicate, even more than calls. But not all messages are created equal. Some are secure, some are fast, some are just plain outdated. In this video, we'll break down the real difference between iMessage, RCS, and SMSS MMS, explore the security concerns, compatibility issues, and what the future of messaging looks like. Let's start with Apple's iMessage, the iconic blue bubble. Introduced in 2011, iMessage runs on Apple's servers and works only between Apple devices, iPhones, iPads, Macs, Apple Watch, and even Vision Pro. When you're on Wi-Fi or mobile data, iMessage sends not just texts, but high-res photos, videos, documents, animated effects, stickers, and even your location, all end-to-end -end encrypted, meaning even Apple can't read your messages. You also get read receipts, typing indicators, and now with iOS 18, live stickers and enhanced message effects. But there's a catch. iMessage doesn't work natively with Android. If you two text someone without an iPhone, things get green. Green doesn't always mean outdated. RCS, or Rich Communication Services, is Android's upgrade to SMS. It's being adopted by major carriers and supported by Google. And now, surprise, Apple is adding RCS support in iOS 18. Like iMessage, RCS lets you send high-res media, read receipts, and typing indicators. But unlike iMessage, RCS isn't always encrypted. Google does offer end-to-end -end encryption via its Messages app, but not all carriers or devices guarantee it. Here's the kicker. RCS still relies on carrier networks and exchanges identifiers like your IMEI, IP address, and phone number to work, raising questions about user privacy. And now, the veteran, SMS MMS. This is the protocol your phone defaults to when iMessage or RCS aren't available. SMS was born in the early 90s, it supports just 160 characters, and MMS, the one used for media, is notoriously clunky. No encryption, no typing indicators, no read receipts. It's pure carrier-driven messaging, and honestly, it's showing its age. In 2025, SMS is mostly used for bank alerts, 2FA codes, and spammers, but it's still around, and in places with poor internet or on basic phones, it's all people have. Apple's decision to support RCS is historic. After years of pressure, including from Google and regulatory bodies in the EU, Apple is finally adopting a cross-platform solution. But don't get too excited. This doesn't mean full iMessage for Android. Apple will keep its blue bubble exclusive. RCS on iPhone will still show up as green bubbles, but with better features than SMS, like full-size images and group chat support. When it comes to security, iMessage wins, full end-to-end -end encryption by default. RCS? Mixed bag. It depends on your app and your carrier. SMS? Absolutely no encryption. Anyone with access to your carrier's network can potentially snoop. In 2022, the Electronic Frontier Foundation even warned about SMS being used for phishing, tracking, and surveillance, especially in countries with poor digital privacy laws. Here's where things get interesting. <laughs> With Apple supporting RCS, we might finally see a unified messaging experience across all devices. Google is pushing AI-enhanced smart replies, voice messages transcriptions, and auto-translation. Apple is doubling down on message effects and maybe, just maybe, bringing RCS encryption one day. The dream? A world where messages look and feel the same no matter which phone you use, and where privacy is protected by default. So, what should you do? If you're in the Apple ecosystem, stick with iMessage. It's fast, secure, and loaded with features. If you use Android, use Google Messages with RCS turned on, and make sure it's end-to-end -end encrypted. Avoid relying on SMS, MMS whenever possible, unless you're in a situation with no data or Wi-Fi. Messaging has come a long way, but understanding what tech you're using can help you stay connected, secure, and ahead of the curve. Which messaging app do you use most? Drop your answer in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss our next video on how AI is transforming the way we communicate.